uh, in this session we are going to see what are sync jobs in grc especially related to access control sync jobs are very important so what is the purpose of sync job first let us try to understand the purpose then we'll go into system and also see the sync jobs how to run them and what exactly is the purpose so first the purpose of sync jobs is to sync the plugin system data so when i say plugin system it could be your s4 hana system or ecc system that particular system data into grc now question yourself like why do we need to sync the data into grc system your back end system like plugin system into grc so there are some not some actually for all the components whatever you talk about either risk analysis or emergency access management brm business role management or access request management in any of the components we need to see the data related to the backend system okay like for example let me show you one particular case where this sync jobs play a crucial role like when i go to nwbc and if i wanted to run risk analysis for a particular user so generally we go under access management tab and then we try to run the risk analysis for a particular user so let me open that screen and we will enter into that particular so here when we do the sync job the ecc data is not created in the grc system but it is stored in grac tables of grc system so these words are very important here listen carefully the ecc data is not created in grc what do you mean by ecc data or the backend system data is not created in the grc system suppose i have a user in grc or backend ecc when i sync that user will not will not be created in grc means you will not have su01 record of the user then what will happen to that data it is stored in tables local tables of grc okay what are those tables here i have two specific tables related to users and roles the data where the user information is stored is grac user con so the naming convention is also helping us to identify what type what type of table it is or which table it is grac is a common word for every table then the keyword here is user and followed by con and con so con is something like connector wherever you see the con and word it refers to connector connector is nothing but the back end system the plug in system okay so let's go back to system now under access management i go to access risk analysis and i am going to user level when i go to user level i have a system let me choose my system name so my system name is for example i take jj client 800 and here i am trying to search the user in my backend system this is my backend system and here i am trying to search so these are the users that exist in my backend so i have around 4108 users so 4100 or you can say 4108 users we have here suppose now let me create a new user in my backend system so which is considered to be as my ecc so i go to ecc this is my backend system or plugin system and here i am creating one jj underscore user one a test id sort of thing a new id i am creating
so i am not assigning any roles just a record new record jj user one is game being created right now coming back to my grc screen again i try to search for this user so i am choosing my system name that system name is jj client 800 and here i try to search the user the name is jj underscore user one no records found there are no results found for the this particular user so why it is not visible the reason is sync job after creating the user a sync job has to run only then this data this user will be visible in grc okay now what i do is i will run the sync job we'll come back and again to this screen and we'll check it again so before running the sync job i also mentioned about the tables right this is the table related to sync job when sync job is run this table gets loaded grac user con okay so i am entering into i'll show you this table first before i run the sync job especially for that specific user so this table is in grc i enter my connector name and then i enter jj underscore user one search so no table entries found i have other table entries if i remove this user id here i have other entries there are other entries user ids but the newly created id is not visible to me here in this table and that is the same reason it is also not visible in the risk analysis screen here so in so in other words i can directly say now in nwbc when you are trying to search for the user id this information comes from the tables basically local tables of grc it says no results found because the user does not exist the record does not exist in this table the same reason the system is also not able to identify the user here right now let me run the sync job then we will come back first check this table and then we will go and check in nwpc as well so i'm going back to my uh, grc system to run the sync jobs the path is spro under that grc access control under access control synchronization jobs so in synchronization we have several types of synchronization jobs we will go one by one later but now related to users the job is repository object sync the report the sync job related to users not only users even roles and profiles as well this is the sync job related to users roles and profiles so i'm selecting this repository object sync so you can see three options here user role and profile so i want to load all the three data three types of data user role and profile and uh, se select connector and sync mode so for which connector you want to run this is my connector name jj client 800 and you have two modes here incremental sync mode and full sync mode so generally we go for incremental sync mode because it is the latest data i want which is recently created so whenever you want the recent data to be uh, you are running the sync job for the recently created data always go for incremental but if you want full sync if you go for full sync all the data in my backend will get reloaded into my backend system this grc tables so not necessary because already we have the data in the grc tables only the recently created data is not available like my example jj underscore user one so in this case i can go for incremental but remember when do you go for full sync only during the first time or once in a while you can go for full sync not daily or frequently not needed so i am selecting incremental and always remember do not execute directly 
this is not recommended because whether you run in incremental or a full sync we never know how much data is there in the back end that has to be loaded into grc if the data is too huge and if you run in the dialog mode there is a chance of timeout error uh, that is the reason always go for background specific or to run in the background mode so i go to program on the top i execute in the background do not enter no need to enter any output device continue and here i have options immediately i want to run or you can specify the date and time i want to run immediately and this is a periodic job if you tick here it is periodic if you untick it is not a periodic so i want to run only one time so i save this value save it so i can see the status as background job was scheduled for program so there is a background job triggered now and that you can see in sm37 sm37 is for monitoring of background jobs and this is where you see here grac repository object sync it is active running now refresh it it should be fast because it is repository right and we did it in incremental mode so it should not it should not take more time unless you have more data so this is my user id through which i am running this job it's taking time so as the job runs i'll go to the table to my table now first to check if the data is already loaded grac user con connector is jj client 800 and the user id is jj user 1 execute still no table entries okay let us wait till the job completes and then we can go into system and check that You can also check meanwhile if it is taking too much time slg1 slg1 is for system application log so whatever you have triggered it is recorded here so this is my user id user sync is running and user repository sync started it is still running not yet completed role sync yes role sync is done role sync successfully executed profile sync is also successfully executed now i think we are waiting for the user sync to be completed so if you face any error here there is a problem with your rfc connection or some of your connector configuration so you can refer back to connector configuration course where we have discussed about uh, how to enable the connector configuration okay it seems to be completed now user sync successfully executed yes now first i check the job here refresh it is finished now I go back to table, grac user con, execute. Now I can see the user ID, jj underscore user one. It is loaded into the tables. User group super, user type A, all the details, validity period, what we defined, etc. This is the first check you can do. Now coming to, coming to second check, I go to risk analysis screen again. I try to filter by my system JJ client 800 user JJ underscore user one now I can see the user ID visible to me 
So now I can go ahead and run the risk analysis for this user. So this is the main purpose of sync job. So going back to my definition again, to sync the plugin system data, that is whether it is S4 HANA or ECC system data into GRC system. The ECC data is not created in GRC system. What do you mean by this statement? So you, some of you might have, might be thinking that within GRC, if I go to SU01 and if I check for this user display, so it is not created in the GRC, but it exists in the table of GRC. So that is the meaning of data is not created locally in GRC, but it is only locally stored into the GRC tables. So these are the tables for roles GRAC RL con GRAC user con. So you might need to remember these tables for interview sake. So what all other data we have in our backend system. So just we have seen the job related to users roles and profiles that is repository sync job. So there is another job which is related to authorization data that includes T codes authorization objects and SU24 data. So all the T codes in our ECC all the authorization objects in our backend ECC or uh, even SU24 data SU24 is what it's a relation between the T code and authorizations which uh, authorizations are checked when a particular T code is executed all those relationship also gets loaded into uh, into my GRC system. So what are the jobs total jobs we have the path for sync jobs is spro sap IF, uh, img reference grc access control and then sync jobs so these are the different types of sync jobs what we have so we will go one by one slowly and uh, we will also discuss about the component wise what are the other things and etc when the job what is the job frequency of the jobs all those stuff in our next session right thanks all of you